Well, certainly, I mean, I, I think, you know, the story of the game on Friday night was Logan Stein. Not to take anything away for the rest of the team, I thought we played well as as uh, as a team, but Logan had a very strong performance. Um, and then I thought on Saturday, a little concern that, you know, it looked like we petered out. We, we went out to a three-goal lead, and then uh, and Western had some pushback, and we didn't, and then, you know, we ended up losing 6-4. Um, and... You know, I, I think one of the things we're trying to get, we, we, we want to be more aggressive of a team, and it's it's a change in, in uh, philosophy or characteristic of our team from the last couple of years where I felt like, you know, uh, we were a little bit more passive just based on the fact that we were st still getting our goaltending underneath us. Now I think we've got the goaltending there that we can play a more aggressive style. You know, at times we may give up some pretty good opportunities for the other team, but I still think we, you know, if we're going to make mistakes now, I'd like to see us be more aggressive but to play like this too we've got to be in peak condition and I don't know if our conditioning is uh, uh, you know it, it's there but it, you, can, you can't you can mimic it all you want but you've got to just keep playing this way and changing the mindset if you, we can do that then uh, you know I think we'll be able to put 60 minutes back to back nights on a Friday and Saturday together. Coach, you mentioned Logan Stein, and obviously he's been around for a few years, but Canisius on their side, they're the oldest team in the country. They have a lot of really experienced guys. What are you expecting to see from them? This weekend? Well, they're an aggressive team, too, and, and they're, they're big and they're strong and they're physical, and I, I expect to see that. We played them a year ago, split at Canisius. Uh, I think we lost on Friday, won on Saturday. But they are an experienced team. They've got a, they, their top line is exceedingly good. Uh, their power play was, uh, I think, think like four for eight or four for six on the weekend I don't know it was they scored four power play goals so you know obviously we'll want to stay out of the box but they're a good team and and they gave Penn State uh, all Penn State could handle uh, on the road coach coming off of uh, two ranked teams in Tech and Western and going into Canisius does that give any breathing room for you or is not no no breathing room at all um, I I think Canisius arguably could be a, a top 20 team. I think they were picked, if not to win uh, the Atlantic Hockey, uh, to finish in the top, you know, two, three spots. They're a good team, and as reference, they're old. And, and no, they're as good as we'll face so far this year, and they'll put us to the test both nights. Um, one thing I should note is that um, their head coach is Trevor Large. He played uh, for us like 90, I guess it would have been like 2000 to 2004, somewhere in that range. But he was part of the 0203 team that won the CCHA and was our you know, first time we'd won a league title, first time we'd made a trip to the NCAA League tournament. So he was a big part of that as well and, and done an outstanding job at Canisius as the head coach there. Coach, you got games on Friday and Saturday this weekend. Obviously football is playing Grand Valley on Saturday, and there's a package out there for $30. You can go to both the football game and your hockey game at night. How do you think that affects both the football team here and then your team as well? Well, I think it's great, and uh, I think it's a heck of a deal for the fans. Um, really, you can see some great football. Uh, obviously, whenever Ferris and Grand Valley play, um, that's going to be a great football game. It should be so festive around this campus. And then to, to put the cherry on top at night, come see the hockey game. I, I think it's uh, a good weekend of athletics and sports here at Fair State. Last week, Coach, you talked about uh, fans in the stadium here and how crucial they've been to your success in the, of this program. What did, what did you see from them this past weekend that you liked? Well, it was great to have them here and in the numbers that we had them. Um, coming off of COVID, I was really nervous. And coming off of two subpar seasons, uh, although last year I thought we took a step in the right direction. Now we got to do our part to make sure we're, we're a good team, uh, that, that we get our share of wins here at home, and that we're entertaining as well. Tech was a win, Western a loss. What did you see from that weekend slate that you want to carry on going forward? I thought we had a good battle, a good compete uh, through most of both games. I thought Friday uh, we did a good job uh, kind of sticking to our game plan. And then Saturday, uh, the, the short rest that we had kind of caught up with us a little bit and then uh, kind of drifted away. So this week I'm looking to tighten that up through both games. And, you know, we want to be able to do what we did on Friday this, the same way on Saturday. And you're, you're obviously a player that's very familiar with Canisius, your opponent this weekend, playing them in conference. What do you expect to see from them? They're a hardworking team. You know, I've had a lot of battles with them over the last four years, so that would be exciting. They, they got skill. They got good goaltending. It's going to be a good test for us. I know both teams want this weekend bad, so we got to raise our battle level and be ready to protect home ice. Canisius is the oldest team in the nation, and obviously you being a, a veteran guy, what do you expect to see from them in terms of their uh, discipline on the ice? 
Yeah, I mean, they got a lot of guys over there that have been through it before. So, you know, we know they're going to push. Um, they're going to be heavy. They're going to be strong, pretty mature team. So it's on us to match that and take it to another level. So we'll be looking to do that this weekend. Matt, you got two games this weekend, Friday and then Saturday. Saturday before the hockey game, there's the Grand Valley game for football. Uh, what do you expect to, to feel in terms of the energy with the fans coming off that football game? Should be great. You know, the, the students here really rally around sports. So hopefully we'll, we'll get some of that uh, the aftermath in the rink and uh, be able to supply a W for them.